What's going on guys, your boy Coach Anthony. Of course, we got none other than Fast Eddie Chambers. And today's video, how Tyson Fury knocked out Dylan White. Now, it, was, it was a big secret. It's a big secret, okay? So let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Eddie's going to be Tyson Fury since he was in Tyson Fury's camp for, you know, so long. If you guys didn't know that, he spent a lot of time with Tyson Fury. And then he did this secret thing, okay? This secret thing called the uppercut. Boop! And knocked him out. <laughs> that's, that's how Tyson Fury knocked out Dylan White. Now, let me stop being, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. But the key is this. Dylan White had a tendency of keeping his head in the middle. He keeps his head in the center line. And when you keep your head directly in the middle, let's show these people again what the middle is, right? Directly down the center line, okay? You're prone to getting hit with shots down the line. Now, this is something that I talk about, a course that Eddie and I did called How to Box from the Outside. And then if you don't got this course, it's a phenomenal course for the record. It's basically something that if you're the taller guy, nine times out of ten, that uppercut is going to be the shot that's going to hit the shorter guy, right? So Dylan White being a little bit shorter and Tyson Fury fighting out of distance, all he did was shoot the shot underneath. Bang. Okay? Now, when you're fighting guys that are your height, what I will say is you would probably keep that right hand straight from a distance and the reason I say that is because any potential left hook counters right if you're fighting the same stance but if we're a little bit closer right then of course that uppercut is gonna come but from here if Eddie throws that uppercut I can most likely beat him with a hook but the fact that Tyson is so much taller it's gonna be much harder for the shorter fighter to hit him with a hook so it's actually good for him to come underneath Okay, because in tune, a lot of times the shorter fighter, when they're fighting a taller guy, they're a little bit lower and they try to do things from a lower position to try to bring the taller guy down. And if he throws that straight right hand over the top, he could maybe get under it, right, somehow, or he could slip it somehow. But when he brings that shot underneath, no matter where I go, he can simply just throw the shot. Now, in Dylan White's situation, he just kind of just stood there. I was watching it. He kind of had his hands in a funny position. And all Tyson did was release the shot. He tested him, and the shot was there for the taking, okay? So there's no real big secret to how this happened. But I just like to bring up the fact that if you are a taller guy, the uppercut is a fantastic weapon, especially with the rear hand, to throw against the shorter guy because you can keep him at bay with a jab and then shoot that shot underneath want to talk about like if you could say it in less than a minute what made Tyson Fury so special oh man be besides the fact that we know he could box like as far as the work that he oh, put in the gym crazy. considering how much time you spent in camp with him I'm gonna say this he's one of the hardest working people I've ever been around barring none and he's one of the biggest guys I've ever been around especially heavyweight you're talking about I was over there we were going through circuits and things and Peter was a monster when he talked when you say Peter, let the people know who Peter Peter Fury is. Peter Fury is on his one of the best conditioning trainers, even as a as a boxing trainer that I've ever worked with, 100. percent And he would put us through stuff, and this dude bouncing around. And we talk about Tyson when he came back the first time after. Hey, he got three tires around his waist. He's still bouncing around, hitting the bag with all his energy, sparring ten rounds. I'm like, how is this dude doing this shit? And he just got one of the craziest work ethics ever. You would never. He he actually loves to work. I don't. I don't, especially doing what we were doing, I'm just, I was, I was floored. I thought that I would get over there with all those heavyweights. I'm not going to run these dudes in the ground. I'm, too, I'm, I'm, too, I'm small, I'm athletic, I could do this. I got over there and they were running me into the ground. And I'm talking about I'm 195 pounds when I first got there. Trust me, that, that camp was real. Right, well, that was a little bit more than a minute, guys. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, big shout out to Tyson Fury. Not sure if you're actually retiring but I do want to commend you to a fantastic career. Um, I had the opportunity to watch you for most of your career. And fantastic heavyweight, and you are proof that you could be seven foot tall and still be as mobile as an athletic middleweight or, or super middleweight. And that just goes to show you guys in boxing, don't let anybody tell you you're too tall, you're too short, you're too fat, you're too old. Because there's always that one guy who does it, and then you're like, wow, well, he did it. And then next thing you know, there's a whole bunch of people that come after you that actually do the same exact thing, but at one point it was impossible to do. Guys, go to the website, coachanthonyboxing.com. We got a bunch of fantastic courses on there for you. Of course, a lot of them feature the one and only Fast Eddie Chambers, so you know you're getting some really good stuff. And I want to say thank you for your love and support, and you already know, boxing.